Within this video, we're gonna go ahead and use some of the Quixel Mega Scans to populate our environment here inside of Twin Motion. Now, it's worth noting that you can go very, very deep inside of the Mega Scans to find what you're looking for, but you can also come up here and go ahead and search information as well. Now, I'm gonna go pretty deep because what I'm actually looking for are a couple of toys to scatter around where these kids are playing. So I'm gonna go into my Quixel Mega Scans here, and inside of here, we'll go up to 3D Assets. Inside of here, we're gonna come all the way down into Props, Inside of props, we're going to go down into recreational. <gasps> and wait, there's one more. We're going to go into the toy section. So I have a bunch of toys inside of here. So like I said, maybe you want to just search for something and find it. Now, what I want to add is this toy zebra to the entire world. And if I click and drag it in there, it's not going to show up. And the reason that is is because I have to download it. And you'll notice there's a little button right here that says download, but I need to sign in to make this happen. Now, if you don't have an Epic account and you don't have a Twin Motion account and you don't have the uh, Quixel Mega Scans account, they're all free. You can just jump online, do a quick uh, internet search, and you'll be able to figure out where to make that happen. So here inside of Twin Motion, though, I'm going to come up to File and I'm going to sign into Epic Games. It's going to make it happen here. Now, I've already got everything set up prior to this, so it just went ahead and did it. So I'm gonna say, okay. So now if I click on this little button, you'll get a little notice and it's a little circle here and it'll go around, ta-da, and then it's gone ahead and downloaded it. Now, the other thing to note is that I'm gonna go, go back one and then come back into toy. And you'll notice that the toy zebra has dropped up here up the top. So once you download any of these to your machine locally, they will pop up here at the top. So they're really easy to get at just in case you wanna use them again. So now I can just click and drag that in. It's going to take a moment and needs to go ahead and create it and add everything to it. And there we go. Now we have our little toy zebra. And of course, we can make this a little bit larger. Maybe we want them to actually be able to write on it. So I'm just going to go into the transforms here. And you can see my scale is at 1, 1, and 1, or 100. What I'm going to go ahead and do is set this up at 300 by 300 by 300. Oh, goodness, not that far. There we go. Now it's a little bit larger. Go ahead and zoom in on that. There we go. And now we have our little toy zebra that we can use inside of our twin motion scene.